Self-love means caring about yourself and treating yourself with kindness. When you love yourself, you feel good about who you are as a person. You accept both your strengths and weaknesses. Self-love is very important for your mental health and happiness in life. If you don't love yourself, you might often feel sad, worried, or angry. When you truly love yourself, you can be much happier. How do you know if you love yourself? Here are some signs. You are kind to yourself, even when you make mistakes. You take care of your body by eating healthy foods and exercising. You make time for hobbies and activities you enjoy. You believe in your abilities. You accept yourself, including any flaws. Does this sound like you? If not, don't worry. Self-love is a skill that anyone can learn and practice over time. Talk to yourself like you would talk to a good friend with kindness. Do things you love like reading books, playing sports, or anything fun. Spend time with people who make you feel good about yourself. Tell yourself positive thoughts like, I am strong or I can do it. Don't be too hard on yourself when you make mistakes. Learning to love yourself takes practice, but it's so important. When you love yourself, you can live a happier, healthier life. But for many people, learning to love themselves is not easy. There are barriers that can get in the way. Let's discuss some common barriers to self-love. One big barrier is low self-esteem. Self-esteem means how you value and respect yourself. People with low self-esteem often feel bad about themselves. They focus on their weaknesses instead of their strengths. Low self-esteem makes it very hard to love yourself. Another barrier is comparing yourself to others. When you compare yourself, you may feel like you are not good enough. Comparing makes you unhappy with who you are. Maybe you compare your looks, your job, or your life to other people. A third barrier can be a painful past. Maybe you had hard experiences like being bullied or abused. These experiences can make you feel upset or worthless and makes it difficult to love and accept yourself. No matter what barriers you face, it is possible to build self-love. But first, you need to understand what is blocking your self-love. Be honest with yourself about the barriers you struggle with once you identify the barriers, you can start working to overcome them. Then we'll talk about an important skill for self-love learning to say no. Saying no means telling someone that you will not do something they ask. Many people have a hard time saying no even when they want to. They feel guilty or afraid to disappoint others. But learning to say no is very important for self-love. When you say yes to everything, you can become overwhelmed, stressed, and unhappy. You lose time for yourself and the things you enjoy. Saying no allows you to set boundaries and protect your energy. Saying no shows that you value and respect yourself enough to turn down requests that are too much for you. It is a way of putting your needs first sometimes, instead of always putting others first. Of course, you can't say no to everything. There are times when you need to compromise or help others when you can. But overall, giving yourself permission to say no sometimes is healthy and important. So having a self-care routine is so important. When you take good care of yourself, it shows you value and love yourself. Let me share some easy self-care ideas to try. For your body, make sure to eat good foods like fruits, vegetables, and proteins. Drink lots of water. Get enough sleep each night. And do some exercise, even if it's just a walk outside. For your mind, do activities that relax you like reading, listening to music, or taking a bath. 
Spend time with people who make you feel good. Write in a journal about your thoughts and feelings. Learn to meditate or do deep breathing exercises. Build these simple self-care habits into your daily routine. In the morning, you might exercise, eat a healthy breakfast, and write in your journal. In the evening, cook a nutritious dinner, take a bath, and read a book before bed. Self-care routines don't have to be complicated or costly. They just need to nourish your body's needs for good food, sleep, and movement. And they should nurture your mind with calm, peaceful activities that you enjoy. When you practice self-care every day, you are telling yourself, I am important, I deserve to feel good. That is the heart of self-love. So, start a self-care routine today 